Hello everyone, welcome back to the bargain bin. This game... God, you gotta know what the game is. One finger death punch. And it is difficult to talk while playing this game. But... This game is... What was it? Around... Oops. What was it? 499 right now, so barely qualifies for being a bargain bin game. But it is one of my favorite games of all time so far this year. It's such a simplistic game. I mean, who would have thought that a game where you click only two buttons can bring about this much action and such great combat. Is that a fish? I have never seen a fish. Very weird. And I'm doing survival right now just so you can kind of get a sense of what the game is like in case you haven't actually played this game or seen this game. There's a little bit of lag. I think my recording device, my recording storage might be a little bit full. But that's okay because this is just survival mode. Nothing for the campaign. I will show you guys the campaign map in a moment. Pretty much just for those who have not seen this game ever. Somehow. Seriously, I mean, this game has been played by a lot of people. Markiplier, Total Biscuits. There we go. I like how that guy is just frozen in the air while I'm killing this elite guy. And I have entered lightsaber mode. Sorry, light sword. I have no idea how long this lightsaber mode lasts. But it is one of the more intense modes you can be doing. Everything just keeps on coming faster and... My god, that is such an intense moment in the survival mode. Oops. And I am doing bad because I am trying to talk over people. The style of fighting that my character is currently doing is called Drunken Fist. And this game actually kind of does a pretty good job of representing the different types of martial arts you will find in Chinese movies. Prey Mantis, there's Brain, Tiger. <laughs> I, I just can't talk while playing this game. It is too difficult for me to keep my my mouth going when there is so much action and it's too difficult for me to actually play the game while I'm being distracted. Suffice it to say, this game I have probably played every single day since I got it. And I got it like a month ago. Alright, so let's let the survival stuff run out. <laughs> If I can stop myself from doing any more damage to the enemies. Alright. Sit back. I wonder if you go into the super mode when you're down to the last heart. Yep, you do. Okay, I gotta do this for just a little bit because... Golden Sword of Justice! <laughs> uh, I love that it gives you kind of a kind of a help weapon that's like your last stand <laughs> alright so I'm gonna hop over to the campaign map and we'll talk more about this game 
without the distraction. Alright, so, aside from doing a endless brawl of death, this game has a sort of campaign. And this is its map. You start out with just basic stuff, and you slowly work your way towards ha this big, sprawling, bow your way across the country with just your bare fist and occasional weapons that you pick up to this final fight here, which I assume is an ultimate boss battle. And I am... I'll be honest, I got distracted once I got to this point. I went back and I decided to start doing perfect rounds for every single one of these. I am so far halfway through the area I've covered with scoring perfect levels. And this game just gradually gets harder and harder. And the cool thing about the campaign mode is that when you complete a level, the speed of the game will increase, so combat is a lot faster. If you are defeated, the speed decreases. So it's kind of like the game has a built-in buffer for, for letting you... It, it kind of is a self-regulating handicap, I guess. Let's go to the level I haven't beat yet. So, as you go, you will encounter enemies which require a little bit more skill and thinking to beat. Not because there's anything super tactical about them but because the enemies are going to be coming at you so fast that you're going to have to keep in mind how soon the enemies are going to be at your back while you are currently taking on enemies in front of you. And I don't care about getting a perfect level straight away on the level I haven't played yet, so... Not gonna worry about that right now. But if you want to restart a level that you're currently playing, you can just click the restart button in the upper right corner. Darn it! I am much better at this game when I'm not talking. I actually use some footage of me playing this game in my Help Me Pick a Game video I did. So if you want to see me playing the game good, I recommend you go check out that video. I'm not going to link it in the description because the game, the Help Me Pick a Game thing is already over, so why would I bother with you? There we go. <laughs> so yeah. I did horrible. I'm usually much better than that. That is the most misses I have ever gotten during one of these levels. <laughs> but it was still so much fun. Seriously, if you have not gotten this game, but you really like to watch it, I recommend getting it. The, the action of this game is so freaking intense, you just cannot experience it unless you play it. Watching it does not convey the intensity of what you are doing. I, the, the level of, ha of eye finger coordination, finger eye, whatever it's called, it's just insane. <laughs> so yeah, it's, all, it's available on Steam. Go find it, download it, play it, enjoy it, and love it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. And goodbye. Oh, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that stuff. Bye! I'm going to play with some more of this. It's fun.